Hey guys, what's up? This is Sasuke29 here bringing to you guys another Clash of Clans video from Clash with Sasuke, guys. Base build number three, guys. This is not the base we will be looking at, guys, but I just wanted to show this one to you guys. Before we get started, my both my heroes are down. My king is going to be level 30 and my queen is going to be level 19. My king is done in six hours, guys. So, guys, this is the base that I want to show to you guys. It's a farming base design. It has its air defenses pretty centralized, just in case someone wants to attack you with air troops. And the seeking air mines are actually in the middle, covering the air defenses. So if the lava hound comes in, it'll just burn. And there's an archer tower there protecting the whole place right here. And it's really hard to reach with ground troops like the barbarians or the goblins. Well, the goblins won't actually target her. The giants and um, pekkas are golems. You'll have to use ranged troops, but which most people actually use. I have a level 13 cannon right here, actually, guys. And I have, one second, a few Teslas right here. I have a Tesla and another Tesla, and I have that um, air bomb protecting the, the Tesla. And my golden elixir storage is protected by splash damage and the expo and the clan castle, guys which is filled with air troops right now, I believe a lava hound, because I'm using air troops to farm right now. And there's also an archer tower right here, being protected by a few defenses, like the inferno tower and the expo and the wizard tower, and the cannon, but it's upgraded right now. And the bottom is protected by splash damage, so the, the expo cannot reach that far, but we have a few archer towers and a few cannons right here. There's a lot of splash damage bombs right over here, and there's two cannons I mean mortars, and two air defenses, and two Teslas, and there's quite a few traps right on the bottom too. So yeah guys, this is the base, but sadly I could not test it out myself. Also guys, I wanted to show this Lava Lunian attack strategy that I'm using to farm, guys. Not really related to base designs, but I just really wanted to show this. And I also wanted to announce that we will be trophy pushing in. April, guys, and we might also make a new series of Boom Beach videos, guys. So stay tuned for that if you guys like Boom Beach. So in this attack, I was using my balloons. I kind of placed them in piles, not placed them in a row, because I have a lot of minions, so I wanted to clear all the air um, protecting buildings, defenses, which were the archer towers and the air defenses that were really easy to reach. So that's what I did, guys. Well, lag. Sorry, guys. <laughs> and all my minions were at the middle. There was nothing that could stop them except for that wizard, except for those two wizard towers, which were not aiming on them at the right time, which the balloons were distracting, and then they got destroyed. So right here, I dropped my queen. But before that, I dropped a few wall breakers actually to distract the archer tower and the Teslas from getting rid of my queen. So that's what I did here. And there were the Testas, I used my queen's ability, and then my queen was just getting that Dark Elixir barracks, and then my queen was getting the Tesla, and there was nothing that could stop my troops. There were three archers from the queen's ability, there was three minions, and my queen, and the town hall was gone. And here's another replay that I attacked with the Lava Lunian again. I'm farming with the Lava Lunian because I don't really need Elixir much anymore because my elixir storage is, um, sorry, my lab is done upgrading everything, so I just really need my walls to be done now, and a few of my collectors, guys. So I just decided, why not, just level one farm, it's really fun, guys. So yeah, I placed the balloons like that, so my minions could actually just get rid of the buildings right behind. I placed my clan castle right there, so I could send a bunch more minions right here as well, and so I can clear out all the archer towers that were there because nothing really at the middle could actually attack my balloons except for the testas and the bombs but that was cleared out right away guys so I had a bunch of minions in the lava and a few lava pups getting rid of the buildings I didn't really need to drop my queen and I didn't I just used those troops I had that in my clan castle and our shield has also changed, and we are level 2, guys, from the clan, for the Clash of Clans update. We are level 2, guys, and there are clan perks 
that we got. So we got our 15 minutes clan perk, and we got 10% more clan war loot storage in our clan castle. And as you guys can see, we have those little wings on the side of our Phoenix Legion clan symbol. And as you guys can see, the bottom of this shield is, looks different a bit from the level 1 clans. And that's really the update. So that's going to wrap it up for this video. Oops. Thank you for watching, guys. Please like and subscribe.